Fine, if we take a show of hands and we'll set an embargo towards the end for 10.30 on Sunday evening. Start with James, please. Um, hi, Pep. Uh, it's obviously been a, a really difficult week for Erling, you know, into to produce a performance like that. Can you just talk about his performance and what he's been through? And, and was it just this morning that you decided, did he, he tell you he was fine to start? No, yesterday. Yesterday, to line up and he knew it. Of course, it had been a tough when our close family passed away at that age. It was difficult for every human being, but uh, yeah, the other day he came back, was a little bit down, but you know, locker room. And we tried to take care everyone here so we take care of each other so when someone has a problem you have to be close to to them and yes it was much better his mood was you know making jokes was better and the best way you know sometimes forget things do your job and he's doing since many years perfectly First, um, I don't remember eight, nine years a team that played the way they played Brentford uh, the first 20, 30 minutes. And I give credit to them. So we were not our best. It's not easy to handle. Not even one minute, concede a goal and this kind of things. It's not easy to handle it. But they were, they deserved to maybe 0 2, so 0 3. I don't know. Because they create every time, had the ball create a chance. I don't remember a team like creating this time of situation. Long balls winning duels. Short passes, they break the lines. Uh, quick in the transitions, strong in the every corner, every set piece. So it's an extraordinary team. So we suffer it since they were promoted in the in the Premier League. All the games against Brentford from Thomas have been like that. So I don't remember an easy game. Maybe last season there when Phil scored a hat trick, but the rest had been so tight. And always I give because they are really good, not because we were bad. Sometimes you have to understand the opponents are really good and they are. But the second half, we were lucky with the two one up. So the second half is, was our best and we created a lot, a lot of chances. And we could score, score more. James? Hi, Pep. Um, how would you describe Erling's form this season? Is this the best he's been since, since he's been at the club? He's been great anyway, but this season compared to other years, is, is he better than ever? <laughs> really good, yeah. Yeah, I would say it's the best, yeah, but it's just for fixtures and not too much games. So always I see the table after 10 fixtures, 10, 12, so I don't pay any attention about after three or four. It's better to have 12 points that don't have it, that's for sure, but many things are going to happen. And today new players came in, you know, for the rhythm, Gundogan didn't make a precision and and Kyle is the first game, and John, and everything. So it's important because we need everyone. Otherwise, it's impossible to sustain it. And 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 especially, especially, it's so productive for us to win this type of games. We need, of course, important, but in that way. But the players sometimes I can warning them. So oh, be careful, be careful. Now they fell it. They fell it for the first minute until the end. Even the staff said, "Oh my God, how we suffer today." And this is what it is. That's why it's so difficult to win the Premier League because look the results this weekend. So it's very tight. The opponents are really good. All the keepers are really good. They make a good build-ups. You know, look, Flecker is amazing with the balls. He at the end, the man free inside with them. Bebo, Bebo, Dado Carvalho at the end. So with Damstag, with the Wizard, so fast and they're an exceptional team. So that's why I give a lot, a lot of credit to our victory today. Um, Pep, Pep, just in terms of Erling, how, how much mental strength do you need to have this stuff going on, this sadness, things that affect your life? Go on a football pitch and almost I don't get know. it and, and I play don't know. and do your best? You have to ask him. I don't know. I didn't ask him. It has to be strength, of course. And maybe for 90 minutes, forget when you play, you know, forget your personal life, the punch in your face, the, the life give it to you. So it's good, you know, playing. Uh, I didn't speak, of course, we were in touch. Uh, how does he feel? But I didn't even ask him, so are you ready to play or whatever? So I said, OK, he's going to play. If he's not ready, he will come to me to say, Pep, I'm not ready. He didn't send it to me. And, and for us, it's an incredible weapon, you know, a team's like 
one against one, when you isolate him with a central defender with a quality that you have with Ederson and Stefan for the long balls and look passes. So it's a weapon that, you know, we, we, can, we have to explode, we have to, to use it. And, and the best way is 93 minutes, 92 minutes, you know, forget and just, you know, just play. Richard? Hi, Pep. Um, you talked about how you struggled against Brentford. What is it that they do that makes life so hard for you? I have a huge list to tell you. <laughs> a huge list. They are good in a high pressing. They are good in this long ball, second balls. They defend deep, so compact, allow them to go outside and no spaces inside. The transitions with Wisa and Tony and Bebo, so they are really, really good. This season, even when they make a, a high pressing, last season high pressing was long ball, Tony. And this season, no. This season they play the short passes, they break, move inside, outside. Not today so quick. Set pieces, every corner is a headache. Every throwing in the final third is a headache. Every free kick, just they are every department, every all the things they do. There is a manager behind, a manager. It's a, sometimes you see a team that said, mm, it's more, mm, whatever happened. Uh -uh -uh. What they do is always sense. He's one of the best. Thomas is one of the best. Just on Thomas, then, are you surprised that a kind of European club hasn't gone for him? That he's still at Brentford after everything that he's done? Question of time. He will get it. They will, up, they will get a good manager. Like if you I'm, good, I'm good in few things, but in really one manager is good, I know which one is good. Thank you for your embargo for time.